The law on miniskirts is among the clauses that are contained in the anti-pornography bill, which was recently tabled before the Legal Affairs Committee of Parliament. Tabling it, the Minister for Ethics and Integrity explained in great detail its intention to stem the alarming levels of pornography in the country, listing the wearing of miniskirts as one of the evils causing it. But this has since started furious debate nationwide with worries it could curtail rights and freedoms of expression to choose what to wear. Aggrieved parties expressed their dissatisfaction with the bill on the social networks, launching a campaign to save the miniskirt, which went viral. Last night, the Prime Minister weighed into the debate as he presided over the celebrations by Crown Beverages to mark 20 years since setting up shop in Kampala. Mbawazi, who is a prolific personality on Twitter, told the gathering that when he saw how the Save the Miniskirt campaign was trending, he approached the Minister of Ethics seeking clarification. And when I asked the minister, I first saw it, we had a cabinet meeting, when this thing was running so fast on Twitter, on my phone, I asked the minister, I said, Minister, this minister thing I'm seeing on Twitter, are you the author? He said no. <laughs> the prime minister then dismissed the clauses on miniskirts as irrelevant if the aim is to determine what people should wear. However, he clarified that the anti-pornography bill is still a government bill whose only shortcoming was an attempt to regulate dress code. Well, I don't want to sound as if the bill is not a government bill, but I'm the head of government business, as you know, in Parliament. I did not know that in that bill there was any suggestion that we should have any say about miniskirts. He also hastened to add that government should ideally focus on programs that have much impact in the lives of the citizens. As a government, we would like to focus on those things where when we intervene, they cause change in society. Our primary agenda as a government is to transform Uganda from a backward peasant economy to an industrialized prosperous nation. The anti-pornography bill is still before the Legal Affairs Committee, where representatives of the Uganda Communications Commission and the Law Reform Commission dismissed it as irrelevant and a duplication of already existing laws that only need minor adjustments.